Today we're going to talk about the new Netflix movie, The Occupant, so let's get started. Hey everybody, my name is Justin. I love to watch movies. If you guys love to watch movies too, you guys are in the right spot. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and click that bell notification for more up and coming videos. Today we're talking about the new Netflix film, The Occupant. An unemployed advertising executive begins stalking the new tenants of his former home and his motives toward the family turn sinister. I really don't know what to expect from The Occupant besides just that synopsis, but what we got was a film that had a really good progression of its character initially setting up how he had some financial struggles, had to move out of his nice place into a smaller location, and how he was had trouble finding a job. Then he had a key that was left to him from his old place, and he went to, to go visit it. Now, this film had a good setup of wondering, what is his motives? What is his end goal for stalking this family and visiting their house throughout the day? that had a good mystery behind that because many times throughout the movie, I'm wondering to myself, what is his end goal? Is he trying to take over the role of the father in this new house? Is he trying to move back in there? What is he trying to do? Is he trying to steal stuff? I don't really know. And that film has that good mystery right away of what is his goal? What is his motive behind all of this? And it starts off really small. Maybe he's using their toilet or he's eating cereal. Then it turns into stalking the father, he's attending an AA meeting, getting invited to dinner at their house. And then it becomes more sinister. So I really like that progression, getting to know the guy right away. He has some financial struggles. He is struggling in life in general, not connecting with his son or with his wife at all. So he kind of wants a new life. And so I really like that progression of the character and how his sinister motive kind of came out towards the end of the film. It had that really nice progression. And at times it's really suspenseful as well as he is lurking around the house and he's trying not to get caught or have anybody believe that he used to live there and it's just a whole new place to him. I really like that mystery as well and how tense it was at times. Try not to let anybody know that he lives there or who he really is. So this guy's trying to really think about how he can work his way into this new family's life and become someone and act like a complete stranger to them. The movie had a really good score with it. It matched the tone of the movie. The score and the overall tone of the film was very mysterious. So the score of the movie allowed for it to feel very suspenseful. We also got the other side of the story of the people that he is stalking and how he is struggling with his lifestyle as well and how he's kind of feeling vulnerable at times when this guy who is stalking him. So we have the other side of the story and that's built up really nicely as well. You kind of feel connected to him and his past as well. And when Javier, the guy who is stalking him, kind of turns things around for his life, you kind of feel bad for the guy because he is struggling to keep himself safe and you know not drink any alcohol because he was at an AA meeting. So you kind of want the guy to live a good lifestyle, but Javier, this guy who comes in and trying to ruin everything for him, storyline we really don't want to see happen for this guy who's trying to turn his life around. Overall, I really did like The Occupant. It had a nice story, had a nice progression going for the characters and uh, the suspense that was built up throughout the movie. It shows what one person will do to get what they want. And I like that mystery of what does he exactly want? And they kind of reveal it towards the end of the film. But it keeps that, but it keeps me interested throughout and wondering what is this guy's motive? What is his end goal? What does he hope to accomplish at the end? So before you make final thoughts and score for The Occupant, make sure to leave your thoughts down below for the film. Have you guys seen it? It is a new Netflix movie. Make sure to definitely check it out if you guys are stuck at home because of the coronavirus and have nothing else to do. It's a decent watch. So overall, The Occupant, I really did enjoy. I like the suspense behind it. I like the progression of that suspense and wondering what is going on, what is his motives, and it keeps you interested throughout. So I'm gonna go ahead and give The Occupant a B minus. Thank you guys for checking my review for The Occupant. It is on Netflix now. Make sure to definitely check it out and stay tuned for more up and coming Netflix content. My name is Just Watch Movies and you guys stay classy YouTube.